Welcome back, U.S. athlete Gwen Berry, turning her back on the American flag as she stood on the podium and as the anthem played following the Olympic track and field trials. Barry later responded saying, quote, I feel like it was a setup and they did it on purpose. They had enough opportunities to play the national anthem before we got up there. It was real disrespectful. Seth Yon represented the U.S. overseas on the soccer field at the 2015 Parapan American Games and joins us now. Seth, what is your reaction to this? Um, first word that comes to mind is disgraceful. It's ridiculous for her to even uh, state that uh, she felt like she was set up here on the podium. That's when they played the anthem. And then, uh, Seth, talk about what the anthem means to you. Yeah, um, you know, I, I think one of the, the, the stories that stand out the most was being in the tunnel with Team USA at Rio in 2016. And uh, I remember looking down um, at my shoulder where my combat patch was on my uniform when I was injured in Afghanistan five years previously, where I was told I'd never walk again or walk with an assist device. And then looking down on the Team USA crest and at all of these phenomenal athletes that I was surrounded by on my right and left, um, embracing each other, arms around each other, filled with pride and joy and then looking in the tunnel and seeing our flag uh, perfectly silhou silhouetted in, in the Maracana Stadium with 80,000 people singing and dancing and chanting. And that same pride and that same joy permeated throughout the rest of our, our country. And they felt that too. It, it, sport has such a unique way of, of uniting uh, folks and um, with the social divisions. That's the most sig significant thing I see nowadays is five years later, the social divisions that, that we have um, it's, it's, it pushes people away. So. Well, here's what Gwen Berry tweeted, quote, don't set me up and think I won't jump. She's, she's claiming it was a setup because she says she was told the anthem would be played before she took the podium. Here's what USA Track and Field has to say, quote, the national anthem was scheduled to play at 5.20 p.m. today. We didn't wait until the athletes were on the podium for the Hammer Throw Awards. The national anthem is played every day, according to a previously published schedule. But I mean, that being said, I mean, when you go and you represent your country, shouldn't you be proud of the country you're representing? I mean, absolutely. And, and that was one of the, the moments of my life where I felt m most pride. And it's crazy to me. I've been to 98 countries throughout my career and my life. I've lived in nine of them. I've maintained relationships with people from all, all demographics. And they, they contact me to this day just scratching their head when, when the United States is responsible for 55% of the world's immigration, people that are fleeing actual persecution um, to, to find equality and to find freedom. And, um, and all she is is, is a byproduct of, uh, she's a byproduct of the exploitive uh, liberal media that, that um, again, exploits these, uh, these demographics and, and evokes this emotive response that is completely misplaced. And, uh, and I would say majority of the athletes are actually um, just virtue signaling, grandstanding. That's why, uh, you know, people don't want to see a bunch of pretentious, pompous athletes, uh, you know, talk about how persecuted they are. With In her case, in Miss Barry's case, I believe she, she truly believes this. She, she believes that she is fighting for social justice and, and good on her. Like, that's that's a, a, a freedom that you have in this country, but it doesn't mean that your your ignorance isn't going to be uh, uh, called out with uh, counterpoints. So. Hmm. A lot of words there. Um, Seth Yon, thank you very much for joining us, and thank you for your service to this country. Well, I appreciate you guys for having me on. Thank you very sure. much. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.